What's up, guys? Kid Fighter with Fighter Culture TV. Here, just bringing you an update on the 6 9 situation. Of course, if you guys can remember, I did a video last week about the situation to where his, his court date was postponed to this week. And there are currently in those proceedings as of now. And he started his testimony. Nothing to get straight into the details for you guys because it looked like he name dropping. And one of the people that he name dropped on is Trippy Red. And if y'all can remember, they had a few, like when both of them started to pop. 6 9 has started his testimony against his one-time gang associates, Anthony Harv Ellison and R. Jeremiah Newt Matt. And during it, he reportedly mentioned Trippy Red. According to a reporter, Matthew Russell Lee, who was live tweeting from the court, 6 9 alleged that Trippy was once a member of the gang. He said Trippy Red was part of the 5 9 Brims. Hernandez testifies. Right leads who refers to Takashi by his government name, Daniel Hernandez. During his testimony, which has been speculated about for weeks now, the rapper is expected to discuss alleged being kidnapped by Ellison and both Ellison and Mac alleged gang activity. He is also expected to testify that his role in the Nine Trey gang was to make money for the gang and distribute the money among Nine Trey members. Six Nine is taking a stand in court, but it is unknown whether his family members are present, according to previous reports. Takashi's family was not planning to show up for the testimony in court because they feared for their lives. And that was the last time I gave you guys an update about the situation. So it's still unknown at this point whether they showed up to court or not. But, you know, it's kind of getting out the works of what Takashi is saying and what he's testifying and who he's testifying against. And the person was named Russell who was tweeting from court that he also posted on his uh, Twitter. And I'll put it on the screen for you guys to read some of these other questions that he was asked in his responses. So it's kind of like the first initial questions, like one more question. You know, they're going to ask Mr. Hernandez, where were you born? 6 9 says Bushwick, Brooklyn. Second question, how far did you go in school? He like the 10th grade. Then they ask, when did you start living in federal custody? When did you start cooperating? He says, the next day, the next day after we were taken down. And it go on to say, were you a member of a gang? He said, yes, the nine trade bloods. Then they ask, what sort of things did the nine trade do? He says, robberies, assaults, and drugs. They ask, do you recognize anyone in this court? He says, Anthony Ellison has a gray suit on. Mac has a brown suit on. So that's when he started getting to point the fingers, you know. And he was asked, where did you go to school? He said, PS 59, Campus Middle School, Legacy High School. Then they asked, where did you work? He said, I started working at 13. My first job was at Youth Corps for about two months. I didn't make a lot. So busted tables with my brother, then grocery store delivery boy two years i landed another boys boy job i landed another boys boy job then i became a rapper peter rogers came into the store i worked in in september 2014 to buy tea and peanuts asked me if i rap said you look cool i make more like rock and roll rap toured for all those shows i made about two thousand profit i did it just for the experience it changed in september 2017 i filmed the music video in 307 madison it was called Gumbo. I had signed a 20% management deal. Psycho Billy. Billy is a nine trait, so I asked him to provide members for the video. I met him at the studio in Williamsonburg. The proceedings continued on to another segment to where they was asking him if he could identify the people in the photo. He says, I don't know the guy in the L.A. hat. And what is male murder wearing? He said, Cincinnati Reds. He is a grandfather, I mean godfather, of the Nine Trey Bloods, a.k.a. Male Matrix. Then he was asked, does Nine Trey have a leadership structure? He says, yes, there is a street lineup and a prison lineup. He was asked, how does a prison lineup work? He says, my understanding is that with the prison lineup, there was a higher up to get anything sanctioned on the street, and it ends with objection. So... Is there hasn't been an official ruling thus far. They're still going through that process. 
And I'm going to keep you guys updated on the news. But in the meantime, I need y'all to drop y'all comments in the comment section. Let me know y'all opinion about this situation. Y'all think he's still wrong for snitching his way out of prison or he got to do what he got to do because he ain't really that type of, he ain't come from that type of background. So do y'all give him a justification or he, he got to take that L either way? Let me know in the comment section. Also, I need y'all to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for you, boy. It's Kid Fader with Fader Culture TV signing off.